Hi everyone, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome. In this video, I will be sharing how to make this super cute milk carton cart or a milk carton carrier, whichever you want to call it is fine. It can hold three little milk cartons. So these milk cartons are a design by Poodles Papercraft. I will leave a link to her blog down below so that you can check it out. I use this design all the time for any milk carton project that I have. I just think they are the perfect size. So I will be showing you at the end of this video how to make them, but I want to give credit where credit is due. So I will leave a link to her blog down below. Be sure to check it out. Her tutorial is awesome. So with that said, we are going to dive into making the cart first. So for the box of the cart, you will need a piece of paper that measures four and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And all you need to do is score all four sides at one and a quarter inch. So as always, the measurements will be listed down below in the description box so that you can follow along easier. So now that I have my score lines in, I'm just going to fold up and get a nice clean crease on all of them. And then you will see that we have a square in each corner of our paper. We are going to turn those into tabs by just cutting up along the score line until you meet the next score line. Then you will rotate your paper, cut again, rotate your paper, cut, and then do it one last time until you have four tabs to work with. So we are basically making just a box without a lid. It's super fast and super easy. So now I'm folding all four of my tabs in and I'm going to use some adhesive. You can use whichever adhesive that you like. I prefer some super sticky double-sided tape and I'm just applying two pieces to each little tab that I have here. And then I'm going to use my scoring tool to make sure that it's nice and adhered before I try to pull up the backing. And then I'm going to remove the backing of all of my tape all at once. This just makes it easier to assemble the box itself so you don't have to stop while you're doing that and remove any backing. So I like to just do it all at once. And now it's time to assemble our box by taking the tab and folding it up against the inside of the adjacent panel. And then you will just press it down and your box part of the cart is complete. So super easy. And now it's time to move on to the side panels. I guess that's what you could call them. I have both of mine made here already. You can see it has a bit of an angle look to it. I use a template for that and I'm going to show you how to make a template yourself. So you will need a piece of paper that measures two by six inches and at the top two inch side you're going to make two marks at a quarter inch on both ends. Then coming up from the bottom you are going to make a one and a quarter inch mark on both sides and then you will use your uh, ruler and pencil to connect those two marks that you made so you will have a line then you will connect the quarter inch marks at the top to the corners of that line at the bottom so since our box only measures one and a quarter inch in height we want to make sure that the angle of our side panels does not exceed that. So that's why we made that one and a quarter inch line coming up from the bottom. That way it will adhere nicely to the cart itself. Once you have your lines drawn, all you want to do is just cut up along them to get rid of that excess. And now we will have a slight angle to our template. And then you can use this template all the time for all of your cart projects. So I'm showing you here that you would take your side panels that measure two by six inches, two pieces of them, trace that template onto them and then cut it out. And now it's time to move on to adding some adhesive. Again, I'm just using my super sticky double-sided tape and I'm just adding tape all within that one and a quarter inch margin. Be careful not to add any above that because then it will be seen from the inside of the cart. So after I add my adhesive here, before I adhere these to the cart itself, I'm going to punch some circles out of the top of the panels and that is where our handle of the cart will go. So I thought that my circle punch could punch through both of these papers at once and they were too thick. So instead I just 
punched one and then used it as a template to trace the circle onto the other one with a pencil and then punched that out. So the punch I'm using is a 5 eighths of an inch circle punch. You can use one that is slightly smaller um, or larger. The punch I'm using is by Recollections. I got it from Michaels. So now that I have my circles punched, I'm going to go ahead and adhere my side panels down. So you can see that sometimes since this is just paper, it can get a little bit warped when you are working with it and adhering it and trying to get it into place. So you'll see me a couple times trying to reshape it back to how I want it. But I'm just lining the end of the panel up with the side of the cart, uh, the box of the cart and then adhering it down. And now it's going to be time to move on to the handle, which is the trickiest part of this project. So you'll need a piece of paper that measures one and three quarters inch by six inches. And we are going to roll this paper. If you've ever tried to roll paper before, then you will know it does not want to roll. Um, it's meant to be straight or folded, so it does not like to curl, but we are going to do that. So I'm adding some of my tape along one of the long sides of this paper. And then I am going to take a pen. This is the pen that came with my Cricut machine. You can use something of a similar size. And then I'm just going to use that to help the paper roll onto itself. So first I'm going to try to get the paper into a curled shape. Then I will remove the backing of my tape. And then once again, use the pen to just adhere this together. So you kind of have to work with it, take your time, try your best to keep it even and to just mold the paper into this tubular shape that we are going for. I actually just left my pen inside of the paper while I adhered it and shaped it and then just slid it out at the end. This just makes sure that you're going to get that circle tube shape. So now I am just finishing up shaping it and now it's ready to go. So that will be the handle of our cart. And now I'm going to create some hole reinforcers for decoration as well as the stoppers so that our handle will stay in place. So for the hole reinforcers, I'm taking my 5 eighths of an inch circle punch and this white grid paper and I'm punching four holes with about half an inch of space in between them. Then I'm taking my one inch circle punch and I am just punching those out, trying to keep the smaller holes centered within the larger ones. So this is a quick and easy way to make some um, hole reinforcers. Now that I have those, I'm going to move on to making the stoppers. So I am punching two holes from this white grid paper with my one inch circle punch. And then I'm also going to punch two circles from this blue polka dot paper. The first one came out a little bit um, imperfect, so I just went ahead and punched an extra one. And now I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue these back to back just so that both sides of the stopper will be decorated. So I'm just going to glue the opposite patterns together. So I'm gluing this blue polka dot to the white grid and then doing the same with my other two circles. And these will be the stoppers uh, and they prevent the handle from falling out of the cart. These will keep it in place and it will be nice and sturdy. So I'm going to start by adding the hole reinforcers. We're putting one on the outside and one on the inside on both of our panels. So I would recommend to just use a wet glue for this. I do not have a wet glue. If you have any brand recommendations for a good solid, strong wet glue, please let me know down below. I've heard some good things about Tombow, so I might give that a try, but I don't have any now, so I'm using hot glue. It works um, this way if you want to go that route. It's just a little bit messy and you don't get as clean of a finish, but that is what I am using. You can see I'm just adding adhesive around the circle on the pattern and then adding the whole reinforcer into place. This is an optional step. I think it just adds a bit more detail to the project itself, so you can totally skip it if you want to. 
So I'm trying to clean up some of that um, hot glue that spilled over the edges just to kind of give it a nicer look. And now I will move on to putting the handle into place. So I'm going to start by taking the paper tube that we made and I'm going to add a stopper to one side of it. So to do that, I am going to add hot glue right around the edge of that opening there. And then I'm going to just press the stopper against it and try to keep it centered and let that dry. And then I will add it to our cart and then add the stopper to the next side. So once that is done, your handle is not going anywhere. It won't fall out. It won't move. It might roll sometimes, but it's not going to fall out of the project. So now I'm just doing the stopper on this side, trying to keep it centered, and now the cart is done. So I'm just trying to reshape it a bit here since it got a little bit wonky. And now it's time to move on to the milk cartons. So I have two cartons made here. Again, this design is by Poodles Paper Craft. Her link will be down below. And I just think they are so cute. I love milk cartons as gift boxes. So to start, you're going to need a piece of paper that measures eight and a quarter inch by five and a half inches. And on the eight and a quarter inch side, we are going to score it at one and seven eighths of an inch, three and three quarters inch, five and five eighths inch, and seven and a half inches. Again, measurements will be in the description box. On the five and a half inch side, we're going to score at one and seven eighths of an inch, three and three quarters of an inch, and five inches. Then we are going to fold up on our score lines. So you'll see that on one long side of your paper, you have a thinner score line that's about half an inch wide. I'm actually going to fold that in the opposite direction of the other fold lines. So I'm folding it in towards the pattern on the outside. You'll see here, this just makes it easier to form that milk carton top that we have at the top of our little gift boxes. So now it's time to cut out this little rectangle you can see here on the back of your paper. We don't need that, it's just extra, so we're just going to remove that. And then you will see you have four squares here on the bottom and you just want to separate those from one another by cutting up on all three of those score lines until you meet that other score line. So, so far pretty simple, not too bad. And once you have those cut, we're going to add some adhesive. So I'm adding adhesive to three of these little squares. So I'm adding adhesive to this one. As you can see, I'm just using my super sticky double-sided tape, and then I'm skipping the one next to it and adding some adhesive to those last two squares. So the square with no adhesive is going to be the one that is the very bottom of our milk carton. So it's gonna be on the outside, so we don't need any adhesive on that. Now I'm going to fold those down, fold up that little flap on the side, and we're going to add adhesive to that. I'm just adding two strips of my double-sided tape. This will help us adhere our project together. So once those are on, using my scoring tool to make sure they're stuck down, removing the backing of my tape, and then to get a nice, clean, even line on this, I like to just fold the base all the way in half, and this helps everything just meet up super evenly. Then I'm adhering it down, and now you'll see we have a square tube. So I'm going to flip that over, fan out all the little bottom squares, and then we will start assembling it. So I'm starting with a square that has adhesive on the back. I'm removing the backing of my tape, and I'm going to fold that over, and then I will fold over the one across from it, make sure everything's nice and adhered, and then remove the backing from that tape. Then I will fold over the last square that has adhesive on it. Make sure it's adhered and then remove the backing of that tape and then we will fold over our last square. And that will give us 
a little square box. And now to get the milk carton shape, you'll see that you have a seam on the inside of your milk carton. I like to keep that side straight. So I'm going to fold in the two sides adjacent to that. And I do that by just pushing in with my fingers and pinching the top closed. Then I'm going to make sure the shape is right. And then I like to just fold the top part back and forth so it's more pliable. And then to hold the milk carton closed, I'm using a clothespin. So it's super cute, super easy. And once that is done, your project is ready to be decorated. So I'm going to include some pictures of the finished um, one that I made. If you are curious, I used the Patio Party collection from Jen Hadfield and Pebbles. So here are those photos. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. If you do make this project, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Bambi's Mail. Um, if you actually tag me in the photo, there's more of a chance I will see it than compared to just the caption. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Take care and happy crafting. Bye.